Sage. It's good for pizza. It's good for whatever the fuck this hippie's doing. And it's a pretty good Marvel Snap card. Let's take a look at a bounce deck that's a little different than usual. It's got 64% win rate. Let's break down and play some games in this installment of... Oh my god, this deck is cracked. <laughs> going on nerds so the first thing i will point out is yes there is no hit monkey or werewolf by night in this deck as far as hit monkey goes sage is much easier to get bigger than hit monkey and also cutting mysterio lets us lean into falcon and a bunch of one drops rather than mysterio and hit monkey and as far as werewolf by night goes yes it just got changed to a three energy one power card but um it's just difficult to get as big as sage and uh, it restricts like where you can play on the board a lot more. It's just not worth it. I don't think it's as good as Sage or Hitmonkey anymore. But yeah, that's the deck. You play a bunch of one drops, you put them back in your hand, you get a huge hey, it's Sage, you get a bunch of big rocker raccoons and hawkeyes, you win the game. But yeah, it's game time. <laughs> I like this guy's name. Multiple men enjoyer. Cool, we got Angela, we got the bounce stuff. We are good. Let's just play Hawkeye and Angela and everything out of the throne room. That's fine. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we're letting Nebula get a little big. A, a little big, at least for like two turns here. Yep. <clears throat> uh, Nico and Nebula, huh? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Okay, that's great for us. Ooh, and this is pretty solid too. Um, let's go Nico. Hood. The herd the herd changes into a demon, and we can bast the throne room stuff back into our hand. Not bad. Okay, yeah, I have no idea what's happening right now. I'm assuming Silver Samurai is gonna come next turn. Kinda sucks, but if that's the case, um, then it's going to get rid of Nico, more than likely. Ugh. Do I Elsa and Demon and try to get greedy here? And next turn go Falcon? Sure. If he Silver Samurais, our Beast is gone, but we can still play Demon and then spam a bunch of stuff. That's fine. We'll do that. Okay, um, go kitty into falcon, sure, and uh, let's just throw out the beast just to have some power there. All right, and then we'll have like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to play everything again. And uh, might be able to throw the throne room. Or, you know what? I think we can go for like all of them, pretty much. Yeah, okay, let's go. Um, here you go. Kitty, Demon, The Rock. Because really, the only thing that matters power over here is Angela. And Angela is going to be our biggest. Then we go. Oh, it's so easy to win Deep Space, huh? Oh, man. All right. Kitty here, just to try and win deep space. Rock. Uh, demon. Nico. Demon. Yeah, that'll that'll flip Monster Metropolis. Hopefully. Yeah, this is fine. We'll go for this. Okay. <laughs> cool. Cool. It's an acceptable hand. Um. Can't really play Nico without anything good to destroy. It would really suck too if we draw like Angela or Sage next. That would just really, really blow. So we just pass, do nothing. Okay, it's a good place for our one drops, pretty much. Um, okay, now that's acceptable. Let's play Nico here, Kitty there. Um, with the running nebula, I'm not going to run Killmonger, so I don't have to worry about my one drops putting them at Wakanda anymore. Okay, that's fine. I don't have to play anything over there anymore. 
Um, yeah, we go Bishop, and then next turn we just go like Elsa Kitty at White Hot Room, and then we go absolutely bonkers with uh, Beast and all that extra energy. Fine with me. Mm. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go Bass. Let's fill up the White Hot Room. Sure. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Oops, don't care. I mean, they're probably gonna have Cannonball, so... It is a weak point of the deck, is just the card Cannonball. Um, yeah, let's go... Hood. Kitty. Beast. Just throw it on Hawkeye over there. Stop Nebula from triggering, and if, it's, if it survives, great. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, we can still output some pretty good power in the middle, though. Especially if we draw um, Sage or Angela. Maybe even throw Demon over there, because if Demon survives, yeah, if we do this... That'd be, uh, plus six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That'll put us over the top at Danger Room. And, um, this is still enough power to win in the middle. So, we're gonna go for this. Alright. Not bad. Like I said, though, Cannonball is a weak spot of the deck. Because if you just Cannonball is over at the White Hot Room, and then plays like a one-drop anywhere else, we might not win that game. Titania or something. Anyways, good game. All right, we got Angela and Bishop um, and our two bounce cards. So we have both the scalers, both, both the bounce cards. Kind of doesn't really matter what we draw at this point. We should be able to put out pretty good power. I guess kind of does matter now what we draw at this point. Um, a little weird, but I think we go Nico instead of Angela. Just because the times two at Shuri's lab, I just you can't pass that up. It's incredibly rude, sir. Or at least I know I'm just playing Angela next turn. We'll play Angela at Shuri's lab because at some point I am going to beast there. Uh, yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah, Angela, Rocket. Uh, next turn we just go beast at Monster Island or Machine World even. Okay. <laughs> is, is this good now? I don't... Alright. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure we just do... Bishop. And the next room we just go, like, our own Baron Mordo into Beast. Oh, there goes Hawkeye. Oh no, my six energy Hawkeye's gone. <laughs> Ooh. All right, still, we just beast into Baron Mordo. And uh, we won't have any one drops, so we can lead with Sage and then just play everything else for free. That's pretty good, actually. I can just sort of finish Shuri's lab with Sage. So I should go Angela. Uh, everything else is free, so Falcon. And then everything else should go over here. That, that. And then this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna be a big sage, and this is quite a bit of power over there. Yep, let's do it. What is this? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Don't be times two. All right, it's the destroy one. Okay, cool. Sweet. Yeah, we went Shuri's lap and Machine World. 
routing like 13 just with the two one drops at Machine World. Little cards. Big power. <clears throat> Ching. Angela and Bishop's animations are so satisfying. So, so satisfying. Man, the Sage. How big is this gonna get? Man, not that big. <laughs> Still pretty good. GG. Victory. Mm, nice. Not nice. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we can just throw off Palkin, that's fine. Even if we don't bounce it to our hand, it's still a 1-4. Actually, I shouldn't have done that, because now I don't have any, uh, two drop to follow up with. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, cool. That's fine. Now we just go to the Bishop at the Hub. And cross our fingers for a Falcon or Beast or Kitty. We should get one of those at some point. Ew! There's Bast. I suppose Bast is better than just straight up Bishop here. So we'll do that. Pretty much always play Bast where you're going to play your Bishop too. Because it's always only one power. Except for weird scenarios. So there's like no reason to... Uh... Little power with the card that gets big power. Put those together usually. That is so rude. Uh, it's fine, we can just do all our bouncing nonsense on the last turn of the game. Let's just put out our own uh, super giant. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And the next turn we go Rocket Falcon. Uh, Rocket uh, Nico Falcon. This might be a hella deck and we're screwed, but. Uh, okay, this is cool. Uh, Elsa. Let's go Rocket there, and then let's Falcon here. Just get the extra trigger on D'Angela. In the last turn of the game, just play three one-drops and Sage. Or four one-drops and Sage. That's a big Rocket. Yeah, not bad. Huh. What is that card? Ah. Um. Think it's best to play our rocket here. And then Sage in the middle. Sage just gets bigger because there's more cards in the middle. Okay. I have no idea this is big enough because I don't know what I'm playing against. But I mean, that's a lot of power. Alright. What the hell is underneath? I mean, there's no way we lose by 15 at the hub. Yeah, okay. Are ye worthy? Uh I mean that's pretty good. Are ye worthy? Okay. <laughs> I thought everything was gonna trigger like three more times. Alright. That's whatever. The bass would be cool. Eh. Alright. Do nothing. There's no reason to play Rocket on turn one. Um, I guess there is reason to play Rocket now, since he's likely to play there. And we have Beast and Falcon, so it's fine. How do you do that, Jeff? Oh, fuck. Of course. Yeah, um, let's just Bishop there. Nico with the draw two is pretty good, but I don't think we need to draw anything else. Just our natural draws from here are fine. Okay. Uh, 
Um, Elsa and the Hawkeye, I think, is the best. And we go Falcon in the middle. Yeah, this is good. Kind of sucks we can't get our Nico times two with the uh, Ender Turn buff. Is this an Annihilus deck? Or like a weird Ravona deck or something? Either way, uh, I think we've got Falcon in the middle and Beast at New York. Uh, kinda wanna do that and this. Only give Sage plus four. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, I mean, we'll beast there just to get rid of the green goblin. So yeah, let, let's go, um, Falcon, Beast, Nico here. We can just move it to New York if we really want to. Unbelievable. All right. I feel like a uh, Galactus or something is about to hit. But it doesn't really matter. We just beasted both those cards back to our hand. So it's kind of cool, actually. Now, I'm just not really sure if I actually move anything. I don't think I move anything. <laughs> All right, that's the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Later, nerds.